In Rebar CAD, we have another feature called the Group Layering option. This enables us to group bars on different layers within AutoCAD. For instance, in this drawing, we have bottom bars and top bars in each direction. If we want to change a bar onto a layer, we simply pick the bar, the range, and all elements that are linked to it, and then type in which layer we want it to go on. So in this case, B1 has now been put on the layer B1. Likewise, on the next bar, we are now going to add this to the layer Tier 1. Again, selecting and typing in the layer name and the group name. As you can see on the drawing, the bottom bars have now gone dashed and the top bars are still solid. Once we have gone through the rest of the bars, we can now enhance the group layering feature further. So for instance, we may decide just to look at one layer. This time, we are going to type in B1. This shows only the bars in the group B1. Likewise, we now look at the bars only on T1. We can also look at more than one layer, so in this case we will also add on T2 at the same time, and now that shows all the top steel. We can also switch on all of the bars just by simply picking on Show All. When we draw a new bar, we can define what layer we want this on. So in this case, we are going to add this to B1, and just like before, we enter the data to draw the bar, the number of bars, the size, and then place the bar on the drawing. Notice how this bar again has come out in a dashed line to show this is now on the layer B1. Within AutoCAD, you can see how the layers are displayed with bottom bars and the top bars. These can be edited quite easily just by picking up a file and actually typing in your own group layering names.